Alright, what up guys? So, as you already know, my name is James, or you may better know me as The Palm. So today, we actually won't be looking at an oil-based or water-based pomade, but rather today, we will actually be styling a pompadour out of a tube. So, for the next uh, few weeks or so, we're going to be mostly talking about a lot of like hair creams, hair balms from uh, B76 by Balm. So, today we're going to go ahead and start off with conditioning gel as a course by B76 by Bone. So, as you guys remember from like uh, about a few weeks ago, last month, we looked at the entire B76 line of pomades and waxes. And so, kind of like my success with their B-rated natural wax kind of pushed me to also try out some of their other shampoos, some of their other like, um, other types of products, including the hair creams. And so, I'll kind of touch on those other products um, on the blog. I won't be making a, view, uh, a, a review of them or like a video of them in um, terms of like the shampoo or the like the barber's powder, for example. However, you will see me or you will be able to read uh, about it on the blog. So if you guys are interested in those, go ahead and check out the blog and then I will be updating those within the near future. So go ahead and start looking at the two. Alright, so as I said before, this is conditioning gel from B76 by Balm. So it comes in a nice little tube as you can see here. And this is actually a 5 fluid ounce tube. So you're getting basically as much as you get out of a pomade jar. So it comes in a nice beautiful tube, very similar packaging as the other products. And just overall very sleek, very nice. With ingredients and directions on the front and kind of the purpose of the product. So let's go ahead and start using it. All right, so we'll be expecting this product to be very similar to um, Imperial Gel Pomade. Um, however, hopefully um, due to like the nature of B76 and also like the, um, the generosity of like high quality um, ingredients they use, we will also expect this to be more like moisturizing, hydrating and conditioning for the hair. So opening it up, you have a nice um, herbal scent to it. Um, it's very similar to like lavender, rosemary. However, not it doesn't have that that like little spiciness to it. So if you guys remember from like old dudes, that one has a very strong lavender smell. You can basically uh, guess that this one smells very similar, just without the little like extra spice. But it's like a smooth lavender. So I mean. For something to come out of, out of a tube, you expect it to be pretty um, like smooth and silky. And that's what you expect and that's what you get. Um, I will also be talking about their Stronghold um, Cream, also known as their Control Balm. Uh, that one is actually uh, pretty unexpectedly and exceptionally strong. We'll talk about that one probably either tomorrow or more likely next week. And I'll also go over their Ultra Light Cream, which is uh, something really similar to brow, like Brill Cream or Brow Cream, however you like to pronounce it. Um, so it's a little bit more smooth. Uh, I might be styling either a simple comb over or I might be using it to style like a top knot to keep all the hairs together. That's up for you two guys to decide, so just let me know, and I'm open to, open to doing either. All right, I probably just need one more squeeze, and we should be good. The nice thing about these products, because of their nature, they also um, lend for a lot like more variation or like actually yeah, like variety of styles of hairstyles for you to use them for. Like pomades are typically like very defined in their nature or their purpose. For example, 
you're not going to take some like Lockhart's goon grease and try to style like a top knot with it or something like that. Because, I mean, it's really waxy, it's very strong, so it's pretty defined in what you are going to use it for. However, these are a little bit more like, a little more flexible, a little less defined, and so they end up being a lot more um, variable. So with all the product in, we'll go ahead and start slicking back our hair. We'll be styling in the same fashion that we style pomade. So as you guys can see, my comb is actually moving through my hair pretty smoothly and the product is actually like not drying or sticking. So I'm actually pretty surprised right now. This is actually the first time I use this product. But um, I have tried the other like um, bombs or like control bomb and the stronghold stuff. And that one actually will start drying and it will actually provide you an exceptionally strong hold. However, this product is actually staying very nice and soft, which makes me really happy. And so, with my hair all slicked back now, we'll go ahead and start like forming the part. Ooh, I almost ruined my part right there. But, um, damn, the product's actually doing a lot better than I expected right now. Because, like, it, in the nature of its name, it says gel, so I was expecting something to, like, start, like, drying right when I put it in. I mean, my hair was damp, but it was pretty much dry. So I'm very pleased with how the product's acting right now. All right. So with the sides all slicked back, we'll go ahead and start by forming the pump itself. Alright, that looks good. So we'll go ahead and call it done and go ahead and look over everything now. So as you guys can see, my sides are held down pretty nice and tight. My part is made hard and sharp. And as for the shape of the pop itself, it's actually excellent. And it's actually uh, like an average height. I can also push it higher if I really want to. And overall, the hair actually looks really nice and I'm actually really pleasantly surprised. So definitely, conditioning gel from B76 by Vaughn gets my seal of approval. A lot has, has to do with the fact that I'm actually really surprised that I did so well. I mean, my hair is not dry right now and it's been a while and I'm really surprised that it hasn't dried yet given that it is a gel. So that's really surprising me but also pleasantly like surprising me. So it's a very good product. I can style Revy Wild Fit and it's actually the first time I style the pump from the tube. But overall it's a very good product. Oh but before I finish the review I wanted to talk about something real quick. So a lot of you guys have been asking me and Harrison, why we haven't reviewed American Crew. And what I have to say to you is, I'm not going to. Basically, American Crew is the Murray's of like salon level products. It's readily available, sold at every single beauty salon like Sally's, and also sold at every single like supermarket like Walmart. I'm not going to try that product like that. Um, it's really affordable, so you should actually go out and try it for yourself. What I'm trying to do is review more products that you have to go through more or pay more to get your hands on in order for you to save more money and save more time before you get it yourself. But for very affordable products, I really suggest you just going out for yourself and getting them, trying them out and seeing how you feel about them. But aside from that reason, I also won't try them because they're just another company. They're just another huge like, commercial company. I prefer a company that has like a certain individual that stands behind them reason why I use homebrewed products is because, that, for example, Steve Lockhart stands behind Lockhart's. Bryce Sims stands behind Grandad's. Brett Wagner stands behind Admiral. Like, I know the individuals who own or stand behind or just like, kind of run each pomade. And so I know that they've represented this product to me 
and be like, James, this is my product. I care about it. I put my heart and my love into making this. I'm willing to stand by it. And similarly, though it's a more of a like professional salon product, there's still an individual standing behind V76. And it's actually someone I actually pretty respect. And like, I see eye to eye with his, let's say, vision or opinions or perspective on style in general. So that is why like, I like V76 and I'm willing to look into the entire line. But yeah, I just wanted to mention that. But anyways, this concludes the re um, review for conditioning gel from V76. Hope you guys enjoyed the review and take care guys.